What's up, Capsule family? This is Ed Drummond coming at you on this Friday, the 18th of June. Um, it was an amazingly hot week here in Phoenix. Um, I mean, tip temperatures are like 117. It was hotter than I feel like it's been in a very, very, very long time. Um, so I wanted to bring you a couple of tidbits and then a little bit later, I'm gonna bring somebody in that I'd like to share. So hey, real quick, um, this week we had uh, important for you uh, coming soon. Uh, we're changing timelines when it comes to putting houses on the market for sale. Where we are still getting hammered and our vendors are getting hammered right now is just in timelines and overlap and all these different things that could come up in this market right now are uh, more houses are hitting the market, which is normal for this time of year. Um, but you know, our coming soon deadlines are gonna be changing for um, our properties because we wanna ensure that we have adequate time to pre-market those properties for sale, as well as just to get the work done in between as well. So uh, if you're selling a house, you'll probably hear more about that from us. Um, second um, is gets to our contractors right now. Um, I'm sure if you're looking to get something done in your house, you're having frustrations with um, you know, different vendors and people not calling you back. And it's common right now. I mean, even for us, like I'd say for 50% of our vendors, we're probably their top client, right? And realistically for us to have the challenges that we are right now, just, and it's not that they're bad vendors at all. It's just that they're overwhelmed and overworked. And oftentimes their processes and systems behind the scenes aren't as strong as uh, you, you, we might expect, right? Um, it's easy for us to see how we're constantly evolving and changing our processes, trying to make things better. Um, but some of these vendors are maybe one man shows, right? And they don't have the systems in place to support the, the amount of volume that we're giving right now. So um, new vendors that we're bringing on, lots of new stuff. It's, it's pretty wild, especially in a week like this. Um, the third, hey, just a, I would love if, if you've had a great experience from us in the past 30 days, um, 90 days, I'd love if you would take a minute to put a review together for us, a five-star review, um, letting us know where that was. Um, this week, it's pretty interesting how um, we started be feeling the effects of, you know, that whole cancer culture, or was it, uh, yeah, cancel culture mentality where somebody feels that they want to um, make an example of a company. For us this week, it was uh, one of our agents sent every door direct mail. Uh, so you'll find bad reviews for us, uh, someone that hasn't used our service but is just frustrated with a, a piece of mail that they received. That affects us, mm -hmm. right? And at the end of the day, I'm putting this out to you because you're our clients. This isn't going out to everybody else to see. But at the end of the day, if you wouldn't mind taking a minute to write us a great five-star review, um, it goes a long way, um, probably a lot further than you might think it does uh, because it's it's just that helpful. Hey, but without further ado, I would like to bring somebody in this week. I was super impressed with um, her service this week and something that she got done behind the scenes that you probably don't know about. So I wanted to bring Perla in. Come on in, Perla. She's been sitting here this whole time just waiting for a moment. Hey, so this is Perla, and Perla's helping on maintenance stuff. And um, this week in particular, it got hot like that. Mm -hmm. And we've been talking about it for a few weeks, but all of a sudden we had like one day and we had more calls. It was a record number of, of calls for us in a day. T tell us about what happened. Just five after our calls, all emergency ACs, ACs not working, not cooling, but good thing. Three out of the five of them, I was able to troubleshoot, just help out tenants, relax them, give them feedback, you know, make sure they got it addressed themselves instead of having to wait for a vendor. Yeah. But good outcome, good outcome. An awesome outcome. So we get, we all get the text message when it comes through. We, we have like this, uh, this, you know, we, we were all communicating behind the scenes and we we're just like, oh my gosh, five? Like, uh, that was pretty amazing. But the, the cool thing about this, and I got to give kudos to Parallel, I got to give you kudos, you know this. Uh, we had five calls, three of them she, troublesh she troubleshot over the phone, didn't even have to send vendors out there because she was able to talk to people through the situation. And, and that saves you money. As an owner, that just saved you a bunch of dough because Perla was thinking, Perla got it done, and I'm, I'm stoked that you did that. So thank you so much. Because I mean, that's thinking, that's getting it done. To me, that's the five-star service. That's the five-star level of service that Perla threw out this week. And I'm proud of you. Nice job. So thank you, Perla. Um, I think that at the end of the day, like we do try to offer service that's above and beyond what we feel our competitors are. 
Um, I hope you all feel that with us because this is that week where it's hot out there. I hope you're staying cool. My office isn't cooling as much as it should. I do need an AC guy in here pretty soon. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Let's look for a little down the side. Let's hope we can troubleshoot it. <laughs> cool. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll talk to you soon.